Chunzo's Gold Crypto Investing in this afternoon update. <clears throat> and you can see where we're at right now. We got that lower support that we were on earlier. Uh, the last couple times into this uh, rising channel, actually, that we have now. It's a bearish continuation pattern as the price has matured. We've switched up the pattern that we have now confirmed that we're in with three hits on the top and three hits on the bottom. And you can see in the two-hour time frame, we're sitting on the 50-day moving average in red. And in the three-hour time frame, we're just below the 200-day moving average and just above the 50-day in red. And the same in the four-hour. You can see the short-term moving average is trying to cross the mid-range moving average, which usually is bullish, right? And you would think this would get supported as they're both uptrending as we're just above the 100 in blue and the 50 in red and just below the 200, which we've initially got rejected by uh, in the four hour time frame, right? And then if we go back into the five minute time frame, you can see we're tr we've, we had a nice pump up yesterday and then now today we're down from yesterday's high. We were down about three and a quarter percent, just below 4% down. And now we're trying, as the moving averages have started to trend downwards, right? After we broke through an uptrending moving averages, you're getting supported on it for quite some time. Then you broke below it. Now you're going to have to try to run into this 200 day. And you could get rejected now that the moving average is trending down. And that would force you down into the supply zone down into here. And by supply zone, I mean all this trading that happened back here in this range. See it all from the 20,400 up to about the 20,700 if you get rejected by the 200 day moving average up here at about uh, 21,169 that would send you down to that next supply zone but if you can break above it you can try to continue up and trade up as you know we're trying we're in the midway point uh, of this consolidation where we're trying to make another run at upper resistance at 22,618 and that would actually take out your regional highs since the flush right so that's where we're watching to see if it can't come all the way up into here as the futures market opens up here in a couple of hours Eastern Standard Daylight Time, right? And then you would see if it gets rejected and trades back down, similar to that it did here, and then it did it again right there, right? But each time we've come down and touched, we've ran up to upper resistance, ran up to upper resistance, and now we're at the midway point, just like we were here, and even more better right back here, right? See that? And now we're gonna see if we can't continue to hold support and try to trade our way up and finish out the last from current price. Uh, 8% move to get the upper resistance. That would be a phenomenal move uh, in the Bitcoin price. If we look at Ethereum, Ethereum came up beautifully and you can see now it's back testing after it fought its way back over the green ring that it's been hovering with support and resistance for several weeks now. You can see it came all the way up to what used to be uh, a falling channel that usually break out bullish but this one broke out bearish you can see at resistance 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 support 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 and then it got supported a lot through here then it flushed out through you even have the classic often but not always back test that confirmed the breakout and that's what you're looking for and then you had the nice flush to where uh that big uh great crises starting uh flush that started to put these lending markets into bankruptcy and crypto sites facing insolvency right and billions and billions of investors dollars being lost you can see then it bottomed out and sort of formed a uh, sideways consolidation sort of a rounding bottom with a low a higher low and then a uh, higher low right there, maybe, yeah, that maybe just barely by dollar amounts. And then now we forced our and bullied our way all the way back into this channel. And now it's starting to nuzzle another little mini consolidation. And the next consolidation, if it breaks bullish, will bring Ethereum all the way up here to $1,678. On a rejection, you're going to come back and back test the green ring at 1242. So that's what we're looking at in Ethereum and the old XRP. Is sitting down here and a similar thing that ethereum has been doing in a similar consolidation and this 37 cents has been what was the top end on its first bullish turnaround and then it crashed and came back down into this white support zone that we put down here then you pumped up again but got rejected and then you came down all the way back down to this lower support in the white box and now you're pumping up again and if you can get some support here again which you failed to do here and you failed to do here 
if you get some support here, you can attack with veracity up here to this 37 cent overhead major resistance and maybe even pump even higher than that and get back into this old supply zone all the way up here to 39.40 cents. But that's something that needs to be watched the next 24 to 48 hours to see which way the traders take it up or do the traders take it back down, right? So we're going to keep an eye on that and keep you updated. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace and love. Peace and love.